So hello guys welcome back to the new video today i'll be telling you about some information about a retina in this video i'll be telling you some general information uh, in the next videos i'll be telling you about the layers of retina and some of the diseases related to retina now here i'll be making as one of my defected eyes this was cornea sclera limbus now this was sclera here it was the ciliary body this is choroid this was the ciliary body this is iris <coughs> now inner to choroid there lies two layers of retina this one is and this one this is the neural layer and this is the pigmented epithelial layer as in my previous videos i have already told you that retina is divided into two layers this is the neural layer and one is the <coughs> pigmented epithelial layer now first of all let me tell you some information about how these two layers are formed as in the development of embryo when the further development takes place retina is the only part of the central nervous system which can be seen from an ophthalmoscope ophthalmoscope is a device used to study the inner parts of eye during the development retina develops from diencephalon it develops in such a way that diencephalon results in the formation of these optic vesicles this may be called as the optic vesicles later on during the development these develop into the optic cup this is the optic cup now from the outer part of the optic cup pigmented epithelial layer will be formed pigmented epithelial layer is formed <coughs> and from the inner part of optic cup the neural layer is formed now one thing i'd like to tell you as when you are seeing from an ophthalmoscope there is a part called as ocular fundus this is the part which is visible from an ophthalmoscope you might have seen different pictures in which when i is seen there are two structures like this so now i'll be telling you what these two structures are this is the view of i from the front side just like you are looking into someone's eye okay let me make an eye okay dangerous eye okay this was the eye this was pupil this was iris now if you see an eye through an ophthalmoscope there are two structures one is here and one is just medial to it this medial structure is called as the optic disc and this part is called as macula lutea now in our school days we have studied that there is a part in the retina which has the highest precise activity for image formation called as the fovea centralis in inside the macula lutea there are large amount of cells later on i'll be telling you what are these these are either rod cells or cone cells now this part is called as the fovea centralis so up to 
this part I have told you that what is an optic disc, what is macular lutea and what is fovea centralis. How we can distinguish in between these two structures is that the best way to distinguish between these two structures is optic disc is vascular. As I have already told you that from here all the arteries just like central retinal artery, uh, uh, short posterior ciliary arteries, long and posterior ciliary arteries will enter. So the optic disc will be highly vascular. Okay, I'm sorry, purple color. Okay, you can see that these are the arteries. Okay, this is the temporal branch. This is the nasal, nasal branch. Now as this was, suppose this is your nose. Let me make here. These are two eyes. This is nose. Whoa. The portion which is medial is called as medially. Nose is on the medial plane. This is optic disc. Whereas this portion which is on the lateral side is called as macula lutea which contains in it the fovea centralis in fovea centralis there are large number of cone cells so guys this was a little bit general information about retina in my next videos uh, i'll be telling you about uh, different types of layers and different types of diseases which can be uh, caused due to malformation or due to any bacterial inflammation to the retina I am not telling you cell and layers in this video because it will get very lengthy uh, so thank you for watching this video hope you all liked it uh, and uh, let me tell you one thing that optic disc is vascular this is because central retinal arteries enters into it and then it gives the branches the temporal branch and the nasal branch thank you so much I hope you all liked this video